still need. You made it. You're back. I was so worried that the Fae had taken out the revenge on you. As usual, I was wrong. The Fae has recovered, thanks to your potion. In fact, she wishes to stay in the village for the next several weeks as she recovers. Goreheart will be a new community, a place of compassion, and it's thanks to you. Please, take my sword and buckler. It will serve you well. Bye now. Greetings. Times are hard, but hard times can pay. If you have the sword and stomach for this sort of work, we could use enough. Some may try to color it with fancy words, but we're warriors for hire. You'll find those who have taken the oath are held in the highest respect all over Amalur. You could head straight to Shieldring Keep and pledge your sword. To earn it, you must do something commendable. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in Osgar hide somewhere in the woods north of here. Bring me their legion daggers, and I'll pay with coin and a commendation. <laughs> hey there. Welcome to Cool Heart. If work, work, work. Sister Zelda has a point. How can the one who embraces everyone reject certain people simply because they're women? It's not right. With so many of our young ones at war, it's been quiet and go. Behave yourself.
Done. No one will miss those two. Take this to Shield Ring Keep and speak to Tyne Delfric. He'll set you to work on my word alone. Go north of town, then take the road east. You'll find Tyne Delfric there. It's him. You Next time I see you, may it be under war sworn banners. I thought only the Warsworn used the Yolven Road. Penry Kell's my name. Traveller by vocation. I have no trade, but I do have a job for one like yourself. Most travellers have qualms about dealing with the fair folk. Harder to read than a human, and fewer many pockets to pick. These ballads, Fay, they are not only rich in lore. I've heard snippets of a ballad, and a beautiful ruby ring. And I need someone to help me get it. Oh, I thought you might have been keen on the idea. If you change, goodbye. <laughs> Old Edward's a scold, but he's true to the cause. Commendation for Mordur. That'll get you your first assignment. But more than that demands soldiers' work. Don't get any big ideas. Heroic deeds are long past, and the war's far away. Hirelings earn good pay for standing guard. In fact, there is a patrol setting out shortly, if you're interested. Ten years ago, it raged all over the plains, and we earned our pay in combat. Now the war is in a standoff, and we pay warriors to sit and melt. A merchant group has retained us to discover why traders have been vanishing from a road in Lorca Rain. Travel to Dyden Hill and meet a fellow hireling named Will Rendig. Then, report to Warden's Bridge. You and a crew of other hirelings will scour the area and ensure the roads are safe. Understood? Find hireling Rendig in Dyden Hill. Then join the patrol in Lorca Rain. Good. Off you go. Welcome. Stop gawking. 
There are grander things than children keep. Mind you, it's more than vaulted ceilings. It's about history. Oh, are you? I see. If all you want is coin, go to the contract board. Pay for good then. <laughs> Interesting. You're not at all what I expected to find here. I trailed a band of Tuatha to this place. They killed the Fate Weaver. I was hoping his corpse would give me an idea of why they were here. Now I know. They were hoping to find you. Oh, no reason. At least not one you have to worry about. If I had interfered, the Tuatha would know I was tracking them. This fate weaver wasn't worth losing valuable information. But the two Arthur are still on the move. I must go. I'm certain we will see one another again. Soon. Be on your way. What happened here? Arden's dead. How did this happen? If so, then I sure didn't see her. I was hoping to avoid this, but I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. It's a sacred place to weave fate weavers, somewhere that I was hoping to avoid. I was hoping Arden could take you, but I guess it comes down to me. Go, I'll meet you there. This is twice now I've buried the bodies left in your wake. Sworn to war? Hello there. Step right up and allow yourself the pleasure of my company. Today only I am offering inhabit... Inhabitant... The people of Yelvan a special... What am I offering? A potion. His potion, I mean. Only Anderson Sinclair. See, I'm not really him. He being a dead guy I found in a mine nearby. Maybe I took his coin and drank one of his potions. That's when things got strange. I could make potions, tonics, cordials, restoratives. Turns out I really like alchemy, but the potion's effects are fading. Will you help me make another? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Well, that was kind of rude.
I'll kill you all if I have to. Damn boggarts. Uh, give me a moment. Suddenly, very dizzy. Aside from the boggarts and blood plague. <coughs> Look, you should turn around and go. <coughs> go somewhere safe. This is no place for visitors right now. Kester Barclay would know far better than me. He's in the town square. <coughs> Take care. I hope they have fared well. Why, Mithara, what is it you... Oh, uh, hello. Kester Barclay, my apologies. I don't mean to be rude. This crisis has me a bit on edge. Yes, that's it. Did Thaddeus tell you? Normally, the things keep to themselves. Looks like some Jotun got into their lair, though. Force the Boggarts out. You're either brave or a fool. But if you could kill the Jotun, perhaps the Boggarts would leave us alone. All right. Travel north to the Boggart's lair in Coilsbane, and clear out their cave. Driving the Jotun from Coil... Of course, Astrid Frisk could probably use some help as well. Until later, then. I hope they have fared well. Up north in the... Reisberg Arms and Armors, blacksmithing. Premises. So long. Can I help you? Come to town for the craft hall. What do you mean? I'm sorry, but there's no... I'm sorry, but I'm simply out of Plague Shield. There's nothing I can do for you or anyone else till I have it. Blo it treats the Blood Plague, which almost all of Diamond Hill's sick with just now. Brother Fallon should have come with me. Good, because the whole village needs that Plague Shield. Go up the road through Glendora Wood that leads to the mission. Bring the Plague Shield yourself. Well, on your way with you. Another visit. War sworn work? Good. The gold's run low and my mother's not doing so well. To the Warden's Bridge it is. Aye, the one smack in the heart of Lord Corain. Go north of here, then east, then south along the road. Farewell, Mother. I won't be long.
to the earth, the tendrils of thoughts twist to the soul. As the fire renews the field, the birthing labors produce the foal. As the mantis climbs to his mate, this one is the heart outstretched to death. As the hunter kills his prey, beside the hill he passes. <laughs> I will never be your lover, yet I will make a life <laughs> of you that I, I found a place of sadness, I love
Surprised me. What are you doing down here? I see my Jotun have failed at their orders. Those fools have no idea what I'm capable of, which is obvious if you're all they sent to stop me. You act as though you're surprised to find me here. 
But you're too late. It is clear I cannot let you live. But answer me this, and I'll grant you a swift death. Which one sent you? Was it Padaxis or Lysander? The Dominus of the Onyx Tower and the Magister of the Rose Court allied. Together. Impossible! I can't challenge the power of both my rivals. Not until I have amassed the full army promised in the scroll. This isn't over, mortal. I promise you. now. Looks like a nice cut of meat just fell into our laps. So? I don't want to think you've stumbled on our camp by accident. Go on, ask. Ask to join our merry number. Well, I've seen fist-sized rubies, living people made of vines, and I've even seen a Jotun cry. But this is a first. Why join? The travellers are renowned rogues, thieves, and all-around good folk. You want riches? We'll help you take them. You want fame? They'll sing st I thought by the look of you that you might, but some feelings count less around here than they should. Glad to see you made her out of there alive. But no matter. Our town is forever in your debt. Please, take this. Until later, then. My father's got the cough. He's taken to bed. 